Hi all and welcome. What are the differences between non-celiac gluten sensitivity, celiac disease, and wheat allergy? Let us understand these terms in this short video. Gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye, giving our favorite foods like bread and pasta their distinctive chewy texture. Picture tiny gluten gremlins holding hands, giving it that perfect stretch and fluffiness, yet for some, this seemingly harmless protein can cause a range of health issues. Why has going gluten-free captivated global attention? From supermarket shelves to restaurant menus, the term gluten-free has taken the world by storm. It is like everyone suddenly realized that gluten is the source of all dietary evil, from bloating to headaches to bad moods. Let us review why some people develop non-celiac gluten sensitivity or gluten intolerance. It's a complex interplay of factors. Here are five factors to keep in mind. One, changes in gut bacteria and gastrointestinal infections. Two, genetic factors. Three, intestinal changes. After surgery, pregnancy, or other stressful events. Four, infant feeding practices. The timing and manner of introducing gluten-containing foods to infants may influence the development of gluten intolerance, although the exact relationship is still being studied. Five, diet, and lifestyle factors. Understanding the exact cause of gluten intolerance in an individual often requires medical evaluation and testing. Gluten intolerance is not just about a bit of discomfort, it's about the body reacting adversely to gluten in ways that can be alarming. Let us now move to celiac disease and autoimmune disorder where gluten triggers damage to the small intestine. It is a serious condition that demands careful management. Let's review the foods to avoid. One. Foods containing wheat, wheat derivatives, barley, and rye, such as bread, pasta, cereals, beer, cakes, and cookies. Two, foods containing any hidden sources of gluten, such as processed meats, canned soups, and some chocolates, which may have gluten as a hidden ingredient. Some medications and vitamin supplements use gluten as a binding agent. Three, avoid gluten cross-contamination by not sharing cooking utensils. Moving on next third on our list, Wheat allergy. Contrary to celiac disease, a wheat allergy is an immediate allergic reaction. It's crucial to recognize the symptoms and know what to avoid, including hidden sources of wheat in foods and even non-food products. A few symptoms could be digestive issues like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal pain, skin reactions, respiratory problems, and anaphylaxis, a life-threatening reaction. One, avoid foods containing wheat. Two, avoid any possible hidden sources of wheat. Three, some cosmetics and skincare products may contain wheat. Four, avoid any cross-contamination in kitchens and restaurants where wheat products are prepared. Five, always read food labels carefully. Look for words like wheat, durum, semolina, spelt, and farina, which indicate the presence of wheat. Surprisingly, wheat might be lurking in your cosmetics and skincare products too. Two examples of usage of wheat in cosmetics are as one. Moisturizing agents. Two, vitamin E additive one. Precautionary measure is patch testing before using a new cosmetic product. Looking ahead, the future of managing gluten-related disorders seems promising. One, gluten intolerance. Efforts are underway to identify specific biomarkers which would aid in diagnosing and understanding the condition. Two, celiac disease. Research on vaccine development, enzyme therapy, and microbiome therapies are in progress. 3. Wheat allergy ongoing trials are examining oral and sublingual immunotherapy, where small doses of the allergen are gradually increased to build tolerance. In wrapping up, dealing with gluten-related disorders is a journey of awareness and adaptation. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this discussion informative.